today we're talking about rock sliders. All right, so some of you have been asking how to DIY a set of your own rock sliders. So for today, let's jump in to how to build a set of rock sliders that'll compete with some of the greatest slides of all. The cha-cha, the electric, the Kirkland slides, Adidas slides, or the riskiest slide of all. Okay, so when it comes to DIY rock sliders, there's two types, or at least two types I'm gonna be covering today, both frame mounted or body mounted rock sliders, rock rails, rock guards, however you wanna call it, that's what I'm gonna be covering today. So you might be wondering, why would I choose one slider over the other? Well, for me, it was a really simple choice. On the yellow Jeep, I wanted to keep those stock rock rail lines. I really wanted to keep that stock look as much as possible while still adding that protection that a rock slider would give. Then on Krusty, it already came with a set of frame mounted rock sliders on one side. So I just went ahead and mimicked it on the other side. The rockers were already cut out. And so I didn't really feel bad about making an adjustment this way. Now, after some time, I definitely would recommend doing a frame mounted slider if at all possible. However, when I get into how we did the sliders on the yellow Jeepster, I will discuss some ways to improve the design and hopefully protect those rockers a little bit better when you decide if you decide to mount them to the body instead. So. Let's dive in. Okay, so with Krusty, as I mentioned, we used a frame style mount. And so what that means is the rock rails are welded directly to the frame and then come out to protect the body. And so you can see here, what I've done is I went ahead and welded a plate to really enlarge that surface area that that rock rail is attached to, hopefully reduce the amount of stress that's being applied directly into the frame. And then I welded a piece of square tubing that comes all the way out to here and welds onto this. So what these tubings are here, this is just some two by two square tubing, quarter inch wall. And then this is some two by four square tubing, um, quarter inch wall as well. And so you'll see, I'll have to, since the body's already removed, I'll, I'll have to uh, go ahead and show you a shot of what that looks like. But you'll see that the body line actually lines up right here with this and it sits flush. At some point, I might add an actual rail that comes out and provides more of a step and some additional protection. But for now, I just wanted to keep it really simple, really clean. And so overall, this is really easy to do. There's not a whole lot to it. You just weld the plate. You go ahead and weld that outrigger and then you weld this here. The other piece with this is going to be that as we go into cage design, all those things, we're we're going to be able to, to go through the body down onto these and hopefully tie that into the frame that way so that way the roll cage will be tied into the rock rails everything's going to be nice and solid and so that's definitely a plus of using this style as well that you're going to be able to really protect your body of your vehicle while also having that roll cage tied in directly to the rock rail okay so on crusty i really didn't film much of the process when it came to actually installing the rock sliders hopefully that was pretty straightforward you know just welding it to the frame running it out getting all the measurements correct um, if you guys have additional questions make sure to let me know and i can add a little snippet later in a different video but moving on to the yellow jeepster i actually did film this entire process now i've been running these for a number of years the videos i took are very old but it'll hopefully give you a much better idea of how to build a set like this if that is what you're looking to do as mentioned when i built them for the yellow jeepster i really wanted to keep those stock rock lines um, there was a company at the time next venture motorsports they used to make a body mounted rock slider similar to what i built but i just decided i really wanted to practice some fab skills and build a set myself now with that in mind too there were two big differences between the rock sliders i built and the rock sliders that they offered and that is mostly that mine covered the bottom and the side panel but then they don't wrap over the top. And I think that created some issues. So I'll jump to that here in a bit and show you what that looks like. But really what has happened that I've seen with this is that they're so rigid that when I do hit rocks, it actually pushes into the body and I'm starting to get some warping, some body damage still from that rock rail pushing into the body and making that body crinkle just a little bit. So I think that next venture design of it wrapping over the top bend as well would actually be a lot more durable and prevent a lot of that body damage. But so let's go ahead and jump into how I went ahead and built these rock sliders. Okay, so all the video I shot has no audio, so I'm going to now do a voiceover of what that looks like. So the first step I did, I went ahead and cut out all of the, the flat steel needed for the rock rails. I just used some 3 16 four by eight plate steel, cut it out with an angle grinder as straight as I could, and then I went ahead and mounted it to the body. And so to mount it to the body, I actually drilled some holes, used some one quarter by 20 nut certs, and then drilled the holes to match that, got the panels mounted up, 
I mounted, I then tacked those panels in place, pulled them off, welded it complete, bolted it back to the body, and then I went ahead and built and bent some inch and three quarter 120 wall tubing and cut it to an angle, welded that to the body. I cut some plate out, dimple dyed it up to make some steps. And then after all of that, I ended up with this final product. Okay, so the final product you can see just that 3 16th plate mounted right here. It's bolted in with those quarter by 20 bolts. You probably could have gone to like a 3 8 and it would have been worked well too. The tubing just wraps up and around. And then with this, I made sure to stick it out just a little bit further than the edge of the tires. And that's mostly so that the rock rails will hit, kind of deflecting it into the tire when I was looking to design these. And I also, with the dimple dies, if you come in a little bit closer here, you can see I ran the dimple dies up so then I can clean my shoes off whatever which it doesn't really matter it's always nasty in there anyway but kind of did this little step here so that this actually doubles as a step not just a rock rail and so overall this has really worked well for me as i mentioned it has created some body damage from it actually being used a lot and i don't know if i would have done this style again but overall they've worked for what i needed them to so and then on this side i don't know if you can really see that but you can see hopefully a little bit there where that rock, upper rocker has actually bubbled out from a hard hit you can see it kind of comes up and down right here so that's where as i mentioned if i was to build these again i think i would add additional plate right from here to here to really protect this piece and keep that from actually being pushed up and out when they are impacted just because the whole point of this is to protect the body and this has actually ended up creating a little bit more body damage on this side but overall you can see i've hit these like crazy and the rails still look great they've not really taken any damage i mean you can see it, ooh, a little bit there if it's scuffed up a little bit dented but really they've handled everything i've thrown at them really well okay so hopefully this gave you a good idea of how to build some rock rails some rock sliders for your project for your jeep your jeepster commando whatever it is you might be putting them on and help you understand the differences between a body mounted versus a frame mounted rock slider or rock rail and how you can really overcome some of those issues that I've had with my body mounted ones or the frame mounted style as well just really getting you an idea of where to go from here now if there's something I missed please comment below let me know the information that you would like included in these types of videos I'm still trying to understand what's helpful for you all what you're really enjoying to watch and how I can better make good content so if you enjoyed like subscribe subscribe, do all the things, leave comments. If you didn't, please don't tell me. I don't need to know. And until next time, it's Foregone Trails.